We are here on the beautiful campus of St. Francis School in Manoa Valley, where we have one particular teacher with an unusual hobby. During the week, Ms. Lisa Eagle is the high school science teacher, but once she's off the clock, she's on the lookout for feathery flyers. Lisa Eagle has been bird watching since 2014, after a fellow colleague got her interested in recording the different types of birds on her nature journal and conducting bird counts. Since then, she's really enjoyed identifying birds of all species, a unique hobby indeed. Our next story by the Hikino students at St. Francis School is about a hula dancer on her path to receiving hula's most prestigious award. I think the beauty of hula dancing is how your emotions tell your story, how your face tells your story, from your costume to the flowers in your hair to what you're dancing about. It usually connects and I think that's the beauty in it all. Hula is a unique and rich part of Hawaiian culture. Kalina Eldridge, born and raised in Eva Beach, Hawaii, shares how hula is not just flowers and dancing, but an opportunity to tell a story in a unique way. Dancing in Hello, you you have you learn all these other things. It's not just, you know, pretty fingers and a pretty face. You have to be pretty inside too. And it's hard work to make sure your hips are moving and your head is straight and your shoulders are pulled back and you're stepping and moving your hips up to the same time. There's a lot going on. And while all of that smiling and doing your motions correctly, you can create a perfect picture when you dance a hula. And I think that's the ultimate goal when you're dancing is to create the perfect picture, not necessarily be the perfect dancer. While picture perfection was the goal, Kalina chased and ultimately proved her own perfection at Hawaii's and the world's most elite hula competition, representing Halau Hiyaka Ina Makalehua. Mary Monarch is the biggest hula competition. It's basically, they say, the Olympics of hula. There's groups from California, there's groups from all over the place that come and compete. I had to change how I thought mentally for the Bisaloho Hula competition by really changing how I interpreted things. So when Kumu's yelling at us or getting mad and I would take it so personally but thinking that it's not personal, it's just making me a better person makes it a little bit easier to take. Kalina's hard work and grit paid off when she was crowned 2017 Mary Monarch's Miss Aloha Hula. Being Miss Hula 2017 was my greatest accomplishment. It's probably the hardest I've ever had to work at something. And it's more than just dancing hula. I had to work hard and change who I was. Miss Aloha Hula! It blows my mind every time just to even think about it because it was a dream from a little girl. Just to dance on that stage is, you know, was such an honor. It's a dream that I've had since I was so young to come true. And so anybody who's been lucky enough to have that, it's just amazing. Ultimately, what I want to do as Miss Aloha Hula is to inspire, you know, young children that your dreams can come true. I never in a million years thought I would ever get this opportunity and it's happened. So I want to definitely keep inspiring other people that if you work hard, your dreams can come true. Now that this dream has come true, Kalina wants to help others achieve their dreams. This is Minji Kim from St. Francis School for Hiki No. Stay tuned after the show to find out what students who produce this story learn from their experience. In St. Francis School's Miss Aloha Hula story, I was the lead editor and reporter. I was the co-editor and videographer. Miss Aloha Hula is about Kalina Eldridge, 2017's Miss Aloha Hula Mary Monarch winner. When we had to film the halal doing their practice, it was pretty intense because the kumus did yell at them and discipline them. I had to carry around this bulky steady cam to get the close-up shots that would enhance the story. And this meant that I had to get in people's faces, but I didn't let the awkwardness or the tension get in the way of doing what I was supposed to do. Miss Aloha Hula took six drafts, and I think this was the shortest amount of drafts we have ever done so far. And I felt really accomplished because my first Egan of Story, we produced over 10 drafts. And now looking back and seeing that story compared to Miss Aloha Hula is definitely such a big improvement for me. Being able to share a story with other people gives me the motivation to keep doing what I love, which is to create videos 
I think it's super important to include someone else's passions and their dreams and just to promote something that they love just so other people can be like, oh, I want to follow my dream also. Kelina has definitely inspired me as an editor and as a person because she is the proof that our dreams really do come true. I'm super proud of the outcome because I know that both Minji and I, we put a lot of work into it and the piece that came out was really something beautiful and it just sparks this sort of passion that I thrive off of and hopefully it sparks other people's hearts as well. Broadcasts of Hiki no are made possible by the support of viewers like you. Mahalo! And by Bank of Hawaii Foundation. Investing in Hawaii's future by promoting collaboration, critical thinking, and other 21st century skills through Hiki no.